What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going down. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button. Make sure y'all also go check out Doug and Ace out in the description box down below. Let's see what's going on with Judge McAfee, y'all. John McAfee uh, in Fulton County, Georgia, has rejected Trump's free speech claim. We'll get into the headline over at CNN. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. It's not the end. There's a lot more lines for Trump still to pursue, which is fine. And we'll also hear from Steve Sadow, his uh, response to this judge's decision. First, here's the headlines. There's one from Yahoo. Judge rejects Trump free speech challenge to Georgia 2020 election case. To essentially get the Fulton County election subversion case um, thrown out on the grounds of free speech. Remember that Mr. Trump and his legal team had argued um, that they were essentially, Mr. Trump had been making uh, political remarks, political comments, uh, and that they, regarding the 2020 election, that they were not intended um, to go any further than that. That it was essentially just speech. And then here at CNN, judge rejects Trump's bid to get Georgia election subversion case dismissed on free speech grounds. So now we know that McAfee isn't going to let Trump off easy. This would have been pretty easy for him to do. CNN and Atlanta, Atlanta area judge on Thursday upheld the criminal indictments against former President Donald Trump in Georgia, rejecting the argument that Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election were protected under the First Amendment, under his right to political free speech. Quote, defense is not presented, nor is the court able to find any authority that the speech and conduct alleged is protected political speech. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee wrote in his order, McAfee's ruling is the latest step inching the state racketeering case against Trump forward. But while Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis has suggested she would be ready to go to trial as soon as August, the judge has still not set a trial date for Trump or his remaining 14 co-defendants in the Peach State. So you guys have heard me do videos on Harrison Floyd, he's one of those co-defendants. The decision comes as some of Trump's fellow defendants consider seeking a gag order against Willis after she has made public comments about the case. So this case could continue going even if they remove Fonnie Willis. I, I don't think so, but, I, but that's another prong of attack. This is going through the court. The other way is to try and use all these boards and oversight committees to remove Fonnie Willis, and it would take too long to replace her. McAfee's refusal to scrap the indictment comes as the free speech defense has repeatedly fallen short in pretrial wrangling in election meddling cases. Quote, after interpreting the indictment's language liberally in favor of the state as required at this pretrial stage, the court finds that the defendant's expressions and speech are alleged to have been made in furtherance of criminal activity and constitute false statements knowingly and willfully made in matters within a government agency's jurisdiction, which threatens to deceive and harm the government. McAfee wrote in his order issued on Thursday, I don't see how he can make that claim. I think it's a real overreach and a real problem. The question is, if this whole thing's about Trump's free speech, about what he said, the question is, did he do any damage? Did he undermine an election? A judge has ruled that actually it was not just speech. It was not just free speech protected by the First Amendment. How can you protect free speech if you can say that the speech damaged someone? The speech doesn't actually make anyone do anything because everyone's still free to not do it. How do you explain the millions of people that didn't do what Trump said or if Trump went to Raffensperger and said, find me these votes, you know, find me those missing votes? Why did he not do it? Because it proves that Trump's speech does not force someone to do anything. So how can he be criminally liable? McAfee previously rejected similar First Amendment challenges from other defendants in the Georgia case, federal election interference case. This is on a whole different court case up in Washington, D.C., Judge Chutkin, Tanya Chutkin, also heard and rejected the argument that Trump's actions should be considered protected political speech. I think this makes grounds for it to go up to the Supreme Court. We got to find out how much political free speech you have. Can you deny an election or can you disagree with the results? The Felton County District Attorney's Office declined to comment on Thursday's order from McAfee. Trump's Georgia lawyer, Steve Sadow, and we have a tweet from him in just a minute, said in a statement that Trump and other defendants respectfully disagree with the ruling and will explore their options. Okay, and then here's a, here's a real quick ending of that CNN article. 
Donald Wakeford, a Fulton County prosecutor, said the First Amendment argument should be heard by a jury rather than decided in pretrial motions, which is like deciding on it before it even goes to court. He also insisted Mm, Trump was charged because his election lies were, quote, employed as part of criminal activity with criminal intentions, unquote. And I don't see how you can say that this is a crime, criminal activity, nor can they know his intentions were that he knew it was a crime. That's the whole point of asking the question. He's saying like, who actually won? How can that be a crime? How can they know his intent was to do something illegal? Projection, Your Honor. And then here's Steve Sadow on Twitter. My statement as lead defense counsel for President Trump in the Fulton County, Georgia case, we respectfully disagree with Judge McAfee's order in parentheses, refusing to dismiss the indictment and will continue to elevate our options regarding the First Amendment challenges. It is significant that the court's ruling was without prejudice, as it made clear that defendants were not foreclosed from again raising their as-applied challenges in the appropriate time after the establishment of a factual record. So that's going to wrap this thing up for now. Just that one part of this case, Trump has many other defenses, but this one did not work. Steve said I was going to elevate this, which really it does need to go to a higher court. We need to make these decisions. I believe it probably needs to be decided by the Supreme Court. So hopefully this goes up there because I want my free speech protected. What do you guys think? Definitely. And I, I think that honestly, they... I've. <clears throat> The thing that that messes me up is the fact that literally trying to do everything to stop this man from from what he's what, what being president. You know, I, it's sad to say, you know, that he has to go like we literally still dealing with this, like literally still talking about this, all the stuff that has been this past few months and still and it. And it can't be a surprise because it's like we know what's coming next after this. But we try to have that positive attitude. Like I always tell y'all to have that positive attitude about this because you 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 really have to. You don't want to lose faith. You know, this is somebody that we obviously uh, need, you know, um, regardless of how you, you've had so many people um, switch over and see what's real when it comes to Trump. You know, and... Uh, there's a lot of people that still, you know, obviously in denial about a lot of things. Um, and it's, it's, it's definitely sad. You know, it's, it's definitely sad. I always say it. You know, we we, we, we look at these videos and, and react, you know, to these videos. And, you know, you're having some people doing research. Uh, like I gave the shout outs to a lot of YouTubers, you know, covering these things. Um, just try to have a positive attitude about these things. That's, that's all you can have, you know, um, with him, you know having you know that true social sitting on a a great amount of money you know having the supporters that he has you know um it all be cool it all definitely be cool definitely let me know y'all thoughts and comments down below definitely appreciate everybody make sure y'all go check out doug x out in the description box down below catch y'all next one